It seems the second generation of acting Carradines, David, Keith and Robert, are proudly continuing the family tradition and begetting a third generation of talent. The dynasty began with veteran Hollywood patriarch John Carradine, the son of a surgeon and a correspondent for the Associated Press. Keith was a child, born of John's second marriage to actress Sonia Sorrell, lanky, laid-back and highly likable. Keith Ian Carradine was born in San Mateo, California, on August 8, 1949. His parents divorced when Keith was six. Following in the footsteps of older half-brother and mentor David Carradine, Keith studied theater arts at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado, but dropped out after only one semester to pursue his career. Soon after, he auditioned for Hair in Los Angeles and made his Broadway debut in the 1969 rock musical, playing the role of Claude for an extended period of time. Keith next appeared with his father in a stage production of Tobacco Road 1970 in Florida. The following year Keith broke into films with a part in the Kirk Douglas, Johnny Cash Western A Gunfight 1971. Legendary director Robert Altman was quite taken by Keith's work in the film and gave him a part in his own movie McCabe and Amp, Mrs. Miller 1971, which sparked the first of many endeavors together. Keith also made a strong showing on TV, making his mini-movie debut with Man on a String 1972, and appearing with brother David in the TV movie pilot and various episodes of the cult series Kung Fu, Pilot 1972 as the teenage version seen in flashbacks of David's character Kwai Chong Kane, Keith continued to impress in Altman's films. He played one of three convicts in the critically acclaimed movie Thieves Like Us 1974, but scored Oscar gold with his next Altman film, Nashville 1975, not with his acting but with his songwriting. His composition, I'm Easy, won both the Oscar and Golden Globe for Best Song. Keith also earned a Grammy nomination in 1976 for his contribution to Nashville in the Best Original Score Written for a Motion Picture or Television Special category. Keith's first association with Altman's protege, Alan Rudolph, occurred filming Welcome to L.A. 1976, to which he again contributed his music talent. Keith's rangy handsomeness and low-keyed acting style were on full display as he increased his popularity with appearances in such films as Ridley Scott's The Duelists 1977, Louis Malle's first American film, the visually striking Pretty Baby 1978, that made a controversial star out of young Brooke Shields, and the comedy Romance and Almost Perfect Affair 1979. One acting trick that worked was pairing all three Carradine brothers in The Long Riders 1980, which recalled the infamous lives of brothers Cole, Jim and Bob Younger, and boasted three other sets of acting brothers, Keach, Quaid and Guest as various other outlaw siblings, Keith's acting reviews throughout much of his career would be decidedly mixed, some would find his unassuming, introspective acting too listless while others found it beautifully realized and understated. Many of his best notices came from the Altman and Rudolph films, appearing in two of Rudolph acclaimed 80s works, Choose Me 1984 and The Moderns 1988. He also persevered on TV with award-worthy work. His role in the miniseries Chiefs 1983 netted an Emmy nomination, while his recurring role as Wild Bill Hickok in Deadwood 2004 earned a Golden Satellite nomination and his work in the made-for-TV film Half a Lifetime 1986 scored a Cable ACE nomination. Regular series work came late in his career, starring in Fast Track 1997, Outreach 1999, and Complete Savages 2004, all of which were short-lived. Keith's career was revitalized on the 80s and 90s stage. In addition to strong roles in Another Part of the Forest 1982 and Detective Story 1984, he won the Outer Critics Circle Award for his excellent work in 1982's Foxfire opposite Jessica Tandy and Hume Cronin underscore and then roped a Tony and Drama Desk nomination as humorist Will Rogers in the Broadway musical The Will Rogers Follies 1991. Most recently, 2005, he starred in the American premiere of David Hare's satire, Stuff Happens, as none other than George W. Bush while expounding on the 2003 invasion of Iraq, Keith has been married twice. Of his two children born from his first union to actress Sandra Will, who played opposite him in the film Choose Me 1984, son Cade Carradine recently portrayed Lord Oxford in the film Richard III 2007, and daughter Sorrel Carradine has been seen on TV.
Keith and Sandra eventually divorced and he married actress Haley DeMond in 2006, they met while appearing in the film The Hunter's Moon 1999. Keith's daughter Martha Plimpton, a highly gifted actress on her own, was a child from his relationship to actress Shelley Plimpton, whom he met. When both were cast members in Hair back in 1969, Keith continues to write and compose. More recently he hosted the History Channel's Wild West Tech 2003 and appeared on a season of the hit cable series Dexter 2006.